house divided against itself will fall. Now, this is true of many scenarios, and therefore I'm going to explain this to you from the ultimate scenario, which is the point where you stand within and as a group that stand for what is best for all. There you stand and you make sure that you are not divided or causing division. And within the group, the point is clear that if anyone causes division, they must immediately be cut out because it's a disease. That disease can very easily spread if a person is not standing by principles clearly. From this perspective, you have extremely valuable support from the fallen ones that are the abusers because they are only good as collateral damage in the process of testing your resolve and they have fallen already and they cannot walk equal with you and therefore the only equality that they can stand for is to get you to also divide yourself against yourself then you have their equality and you become an abuser as well. So it's a very simple point if you face abusers, you are making sure that you are in fact standing here as life, as one, as equal. Exactly the same thing happens when you are going into an agreement. Immediately you have already, if you are aware, the guideline of your standing. If you diminish that or you become suddenly divide it and place your agreement as more than the group, then obviously you have fallen or you're busy falling and you will now attempt to cause division, to cause you to be right as self-righteous. And the group and the principle that keep the group directed in terms of what is best for all as less, lesser than your knowledge and your point. It is the group that is everything, not you. First of all, obviously, you have to get yourself to stand so you don't divide against yourself. Then you have to stand in the group, making sure that no division occur in any situation. And so you keep on checking the same point over and over and over. Because after all, you are in a temporary part of the physical. And if you divide yourself from the physical, then you fall as well as divided against yourself. Because the physical is yourself. And therefore you can then not continue in any form or way that is aware of itself after you return to the physical because you have divided yourself against the physical and made your consciousness more than your source and your origin and who you truly really are, the physical. And therefore each one seek everlasting life, but because they are a house divided against themselves, they cannot even honor their father and their mother so that their days may be lengthened upon the earth and their father is the sun and the mother is the earth and those two working together give the breath of life and so the breath of life was blown into the form that was made out of the clay of the earth it's really simplistic how it actually works so therefore make sure that you are not divided against yourself because you then become diminished less than unequal to what is life and what is here and then you create your own equality and in your own equality you have all kinds of inequalities or lesser thans and you become an abuser one that in truth will use love as hate you will use polarities to try and conquer others because you have lost and you are weak. Destiny, we don't stand for the wicked and the weak. Because the wicked is the weak. 
You are divided against yourself and therefore we simply disregard you because you have made the decision to be disregarded. It's not our decision. We are just honoring your decision. And therefore you are no longer part of what is here and what walk here to create life from the physical because you are only causing division. And because you cause division, you cause and only create that which is less than. Therefore, if you understand what I'm saying, then Destiny Eye process is for you. Because that will support you through the process of amalgamation and your resurrection as life eternal. If you are an abuser, thank you. We are grateful for all the help you give to help build that which lasts eternal. And when you return to the earth, we will blow the dust in your honor. Thank you so much.